Then tomorrow, I will ask her for a date. He said by looking directly into her eyes. He just smiled and stuttered to speak. Then that's good. I hope you and Farah will be happy. Um, I'll do something else. He added and about to close the door. But before you did that, Jungo held your hand. Are you sure? It's okay for you to see me with another girl? Of course. Jungkook just nodded as he let go of your hand and went straight to his room. You enter each of your rooms. You both lay on the bed and take a deep breath while asking yourself if you did the right thing. The truth is that you are both hurting, but you are both cowards to admit your feelings to each other. The next day, you get up early to prepare breakfast, but when you get to the kitchen, Jungkook almost done with what he was cooking. Good morning, let's sit together, he said. I'm sorry I woke up late. Promise, I woke up early tomorrow so I can prepare breakfast, you said. Okay, he replied and placed some food on each plate that was already on the table. The two of you eat in silence until Jungkook break the silence. Is there is any hope that our old friendship can be restored? I miss you, I am. I miss our bonding, our teasing for each other, laughter. I miss your sweetness to me, all about you. I miss your naughtiness, your craziness. Truthfully, I also miss you. I can't deny that. Of course, you became a part of my life. If you ask me if our friendship can restore, you look at him and reach your hand. There is nothing we should fix it. I still consider you as my best friend. I didn't change. You get tired of running or avoiding him. For now, you decided to face him. He smiled and reached for your hand and shook it. I'll wash the dishes so you can get ready for school. Do you want to go to school with me? I have an extra helmet there. Oh shoot, I forgot you are afraid to ride a motorcycle. Don't worry, later I will get my car from home. So we can go to school together. Then I will go with you tomorrow. Upon your arrival, Kate is already in class. You wave to her and sit next to her. Mm, did something good happen? Do you seem happy or blooming today? She asked. I decided to face him. From now on, I won't avoid him. We already talked to continue our friendship. Who? Your husband? She whispered. Hmm. You reply well nodded. Then that's great! But when do you plan to tell him about your feelings? He was going to answer, but suddenly Farah came. She was happy as she immediately hugged you. YN, thank you so much for helping me. We and Jungkook bumped each other just now. He wants to talk to me this lunch break. You already forgot what Jungkook told you last night, that he was going to ask Farah out on a date. Uh, really? Then that's good. Thank you so much YN. Don't worry, I will give you an update. After saying that, Farah happily went to her seat while you feel like your heart was breaking apart. Do you want to go to the bathroom? You can cry if you want, Kate said. I'm fine. It's my choice so I need to accept it. Lunch break. 
The only people left in the classroom were the three of you. Farah, Kate, and you. Later on, Farah left. Kate, come with me. O where? We have a mission. What mission? We will follow Farah. Jungkook and her will meet. I'm just curious what they will talk about. Uh, how about lunch? Let's have lunch later. You said and pulled her. You follow Farah and you didn't make a mistake. She and Jungkook met and currently they went to the library. Faster, Kate! Oh, I am. I'm starving. I will treat you later. For now, join me first. You two continued to follow them. When Jungkook suddenly turned his head in your direction. In fear that he would see you, you pulled Kate and sat down while hiding on the big shelf. Shit! He almost caught us. Kate, just hide behind me, okay? You said and peek. Wait, where did they go? You added because you can't see them anymore. Kate, do you see them? No one's answered. However, you didn't pay attention to it because you were busy looking for Jungo and Farah. Where are they? Until someone tap at your back. Shh, I'm busy. Kate, did you see them? You added. Who? You shivered after hearing the familiar voice that spoke behind you. You slowly turned around and smiled like an idiot. Oh, best friend. What are you doing here? You asked Junko, who was standing at your back, crossing his arms while staring at you. How about you? What are you doing here? M me? Ah, waiting in line for lunch? Lunch? In the library? I, I, I mean... I was about to go to the cafeteria to have lunch, but I saw Lance. He followed me, so I ran and hid here. Y yes, that's it. Really? But I saw Lance and Kate going to the cafeteria. What? You get up and about to go. However, Jungkook stopped you by pulling you back as he cornered you. Are you following me? He asked while bringing his face closer to yours. O of course not. You sure? Mm, I'm sure. He smiled and flicked your forehead. Okay. You know I trust you, right? As he held your hand and pulled you going to the cafeteria. Upon arriving at the cafeteria, your eyes widened after you saw Lance and Kate eating together happily while laughing as if they were in love with each other. Kate, you know him? Lance answered instead of Kate. Why, Anne? I know you are the reason why I came here. But I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? I'm sorry because you are no longer the reason why I'm going to stay here. Today, I found my destiny and it's Kate. Why, Anne? Do you believe in love at first sight? Earlier while following you, we bumped each other and we both felt sparks. You were just dumbfounded while looking at them. And all you said was, Huh? I thought Lance was in love with you. 
Why doesn't he seem to be? A Jungkook whisper while giggling. In your annoyance, you step on his foot. Hi, I'm Jungkook, YN's best friend. Lance, nice to meet you. Wait, Jungkook? Is he the monkey you are referring to, YN? Your eyes poop out as you hurriedly covered Lance's mouth. Shut up. If not, I will not allow you to date my best friend. Spill it. What monkey is YN talking about? If not, I will send you back to UK right now using my connection. How about me? Lance removed your hand from his mouth and stood up as he sat next to Kate. Don't worry, I won't allow us to be separated. Alright, YN said his best friend monkey named Jungkook is the reason why she became heartbroken. Yeah, traitor! You said and kicked him as you ran away from the cafeteria. You ran and went to the basketball court. You sat down while calming yourself down. Later on, someone sat beside you and gave you a bottle of water, handkerchief, and a bar of chocolate. Eat this. Don't have lunch yet. You might be hungry. I'm afraid your sugar might drop again. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of me. He shuffled your hair and opened the chocolate wrapper and put it in your mouth. Why in? Did I do something wrong? Or did I hurt you? I'll be honest with you. No, you never did such kind of things. Then what did Lance talking about? Don't pay attention to that. That was happened a long time ago. Technically, I'm the one with a problem. That's why I want to forget that. He took the bottle of water you were holding and opened it. After that, he gave it to you again. You know what? I was really angry with you when you suddenly left without saying goodbye. I don't understand why you did that. There were so many questions in my mind at that time. But on the other hand, I'm thankful because after you left, I realized one thing. Do you know I follow you to UK? You look at him with a look of shock on your face. What? You look for me there? Then why you didn't show up? You ask. I follow you to tell you that after you left, I realized that I can't live without you. I realized that I love you, but it's too late. You are in a relationship with Lance at that time. I don't want to ruin your happiness, so I just decided to go home. Remember I told you that I love someone else, but she doesn't see me anymore? You are that girl, Carrot. You can't believe on what you heard. Are we playing with our destiny? Do you know why I left? Because I was hurt when I heard you that you only see me as your friend. Best friend, nothing more. The truth is, I've loved you since we were in high school. Remember I told you that I only used Lance to forget the guy I love? That is you, Bunny. Your conversation cut 
because the bell rang. Lunch break is over, so you need to go back to your class. Can we talk later at home? Heart to heart? No secrets? No lies? You nodded. Then, you just saw him tearing up as he hugged you and kissed your forehead. Where did you come from? I was looking for you. What's wrong? Why don't you seem happy? You should be happy because you already found your true love. We broke up. What? How did that happen? We thought the sparks we felt was love. Unfortunately, we were wrong. We were just hungry. My goodness. For real? To be continued. Good night, Kubis.